So if you've read the title of this, or if you've seen any of the Project Snowblind videos that are online, or any of the other LCD side panel videos, you'll be familiar with this mod. I've been able to, following some of the guides online, I've taken an LCD side panel, or LCD panel, stripped it, and put it into the side panel of my uh, computer. So now this is my secondary computer setup. So you get to see my super amateur videography skills here. I'm super in this shot, but this is just to show uh, some of the different modes I can have going on that uh, side panel using uh, using wallpaper engine for my backgrounds. I'm also using rain meter to display some information as well as a uh, visualizer. And then I'm using system animator to actually display that Miku that you see there. I'm not even a huge Miku fan, but uh, like if you actually look on uh, Wallpaper Engine, so many of the wallpapers on there are anime themed and there's like a ton of Miku ones. And she does have a really good design, really good colors, so, and it was easy, so I guess this computer is Miku themed now. So as you can see here when it's a brighter color you can see more of what's going on inside the computer uh, with the uh, wallpaper animation so that one was i think ink drop this one i can't even remember the name of it but it's just a different uh techno inspired uh background uh so using an older panel here uh, this one it actually didn't pick up on uh, video too well, but this is an animated wallpaper that just has Miku in different positions inside a room. Uh, not one that I usually use most of the time. But as you can see here, it's just a monitor that you can display whatever. Now I really like this one, this uh, kaleidoscope visualizer, or not visualizer, but um, wallpaper. Uh, it appears a little bit off-center just because the actual uh, LCD panel can't be centered on the uh, glass side panel because if you look at the bezels on the glass, they're not centered either. So here's a shot of the inside. Uh, I'm not going to do a step-by-step -step on this because if you look at the... Uh, I'm going to link it down below, but the guy that I followed to do this was done by Immodern Nation. And he goes through step by step how to do this all. Um, so this is just an overview. What I did here, you can see that I actually have some unused um, LEDs. Those are high intensity, uh, I believe, cold or cool white LEDs. Now these are the ones that are actually wired up. They're wired into the power supply. It comes in here. Um, See it zigzag in there. I got two strips at the bottom going along the bottom there. Uh, there's one you can't really see it there. It's along that uh, left side. Connects into a strip at the top. You can follow that and then go in here at the front by the fans. Uh, it goes all the way down here. Now, like I mentioned. There were some extra LEDs on the side panel itself. I left that lead there in case I needed to connect them. So it would connect there at the bottom, even though it's mostly covered. Then I'd run a wire up to the top to these two rows of LEDs and connect those together. But ultimately, it didn't actually seem to be necessary. I'm getting enough light with the ones that I have illuminated. Now, inside the computer, this is just a, it's a Ryzen 5 system. I actually took my old uh, 1600 uh, from my primary computer and moved it over here. So this is a B350 board that I bought. It's like the cheapest one I could get. It's uh, I think it's an AM Pro 4 I got from Micro Center. It was about 70 I think. And then it had like a $20 rebate and then I got $50 off because I got a 2700 Ryzen 7 2700 that I put into my main rig. So I actually Plasti Dip painted that uh, motherboard to make it white and I was able to find some uh, white fans and a heat sink from Enermax. 
Now you'll notice here, I have not painted the graphics card. That's just a 1050 Ti. Um, I don't think this is gonna be the graphics card that will ultimately end up in here. What I wanna do is when things get better, get probably a 1070 Ti for my uh, main rig and then move the 1060 that's in that into this rig and then probably paint it then. Uh, but again, that's just overview of what's going on here in the inside of the computer. And just a few extra interior shots. So I think I already showed you everything that's noteworthy. Oh yeah, this uh, this whole mod would have been done like a week earlier, but I had to RMA my RAM. So I bought some new RAM, it didn't work. Oh yeah, my, uh, my SSD, I did a vinyl wrap on that. That's just a uh, Samsung 860 Evo that I did a vinyl wrap on. And then the RAM, I pulled that from my main system because it's uh, silver. So that's just the inside of it here. So, yeah, I think that's about all there is to show there. Uh, next up, you'll just see uh, the side panel there, that uh, system animator. You can actually just drag a music file onto the little uh, character there, onto the Miku, and then she'll dance in time with the music. So, I'll just probably go out on that. I uh, want to give shoutouts, of course, to Modern Nation for making that... Uh, original video that I followed to even um, do this mod. Literally like everything that I did on this came from that video. I was able to find uh, monitors for I think on Craigslist for like ten dollars. I actually got three of them. I actually I managed to kill one monitor during this mod so this is the second one that I put in here. Uh, but I think it actually turned out pretty good uh, for what it is. Um, could be a bit cleaner in some places, but I'm satisfied with it for just a mod that I did in my spare time. Absolutely destroyed my living room for a couple weeks with just computer parts and monitor cases and stuff all around. But I'm glad with the way it turned out. Glad that uh, there's so many resources online to be able to do this, because I know I'm not the only one, and I know uh, in addition to a modern nation, there was uh, I can't even think of the the channel, but there's a couple other uh, LCD side panel videos online. But I think that covers pretty much everything here, so probably gonna go out on that. Just uh, enjoy Miku dancing for a little bit longer, and thanks for watching.